hey guys now let's move on to our fourth topic in this one we are going to learn how to design a batch script to open specific file okay so the requirement is two requirements that rose has i want to open specific files such as an excel file and a pdf file can you write a script for it and our scripter is always ready so let's start scripting so let's go back first thing let's open a notepad and save this and give it a name so we'll start with the number yesterday we have changed it so 04 and then uh, this is about open file so i'll say open file and click on save so till now we have learned one two three three batch scripts we have created now we are on the fourth one so let's see how to design it okay so let's get started let's write echo off we don't want to see the commands then give it a title we will say 04 underscore open underscore file done and then the very first thing is we have to open a file so let's see what are those files now the very first thing i would like to open let's go to documents there is an excel file there is an excel file on my system i would like to open this specific file okay now to open this specific file what exactly do i need so let me right click and then i need the exact path so how do you get a path of a file you simply press and hold the shift key on your keyboard press and hold the shift key and then right click on that file then you find something called copy as path otherwise you can go to properties from there also you can get it so copy as path this is quite easy so let me copy that now let's um, use the start command okay start and then i want to open this specific file okay but this specific file is what it should use the excel application so before you open the file you have to also open the excel application isn't it so how do i open the excel application i should know the exe so for that in my start search i will say excel i will right click on this i will go to open file location right click on this excel that i see and then in this one let's go to the properties and here you can see the exact exe is excel.exe okay so this is the exact thing that we have to write in our script so all i will say excel.exe and give it a space so that way it is going to start the excel and then it is going to open the specific file understood sometimes writing excel.exe may not work so what you do in such a case you have to get the script entire path so you can also say slash d and then within double quote you can paste this entire path of excel and give it a space this excel.exe just remove it from here okay this is another way of writing so let's first test it okay for that i will simply say pause here and then let's test it let's save it go back to our batch script folder and let me run this okay uh, okay i did not save it as dot bat okay mistake so file save as dot bat save bash script let me delete the text document that i had shift delete dot enter and let's double click okay so let's see if the script is working or not okay open file press any key to, key to continue so let me hit on enter windows cannot find files uh, slash microsoft so there is some error with the path okay so i given a double quote let's remove that here also one quote is there let me remove that uh, everything looks fine to me so let's see save it and run this again getting it so getting error is good hit on enter okay so now you can see the excel application started opening and it has opened the automate with rakesh file for me getting it great now let's see i have to also open there is two requirements right pdf also i have to open so let me see where a pdf is available okay so um yeah okay sample pdf file so i have some few pdf files let's say i would like to open this first pdf file ending with 873100 okay this is the pdf file i would like to open 
873100. Now what I will do, I will right click on this. Sorry, shift right click, copy as path and then let's go here. The same thing we have to repeat. Okay, let's just start. Um, and then what is the exe for? Let me first copy paste the path of the file. Let's write the exe before it. What is the exe of Adobe? It should be adobe.exe. So right click, open file location. So whichever application you would like to open, do the same, repeat a similar process. So here go to properties and here you can see it's uh, sorry uh, acrobat.exe right not adobe acrobat.exe okay so let's copy this exact one and then go to our script and here all you have to do is paste it here and give it a space all done now let's save it you can simply go with this acrobat.exe sometimes if it doesn't work you have to really write a path okay so check that for yourself and then you can you should write a exit so that it will exit cleanly so save and is always a good practice to tell what is going to happen right echo uh, this will open automate with rakesh excel file with rakesh excel file and same way it is always a good practice to write okay so that it becomes quite easy what exactly it does you'll get to know before you hit on enter so this will open the invoice pdf okay save it and now quickly go to our bash script folder and let's let me first of all close this excel file which got opened and uh, anything is opened okay let's close it let's hit on run okay now here press any key to continue hit on enter okay so first it has opened the so both the things it has opened it did not really give me why because we haven't given any pause after this right so always write a pause so you're understanding right how the script we are building look at this we are building a big script so as we move forward we will be uh, you know creating lengthier scripts but right now you should have a uh, good understanding of the basics then you can build more complex ones okay once your concepts is clear you can happily create any kind of requirement you can create it so let's save it and uh, let's run it again let me close so it has opened both the files you can see that right it is working okay now press any key to continue hit on enter this will open automate with rackcase excel file press any key to continue hit on enter okay now you can see the excel file has opened now it is prompting me next is this will open invoice pdf press any key to continue if i hit on enter it's going to open the pdf file for me okay so you're getting it right how things are working fine with the script so likewise you have to do a little bit of testing before you really start using it okay so thank you guys let's move on to our next topic i hope you are enjoying by now we have created four different batch scripts let's move on to our next topic